In Rivet families, by default, you cannot set formulas to material parameters. That means that in theory, you cannot say, for example, if this value is above 150 millimeters, it should be wood, else it should be steel. That doesn't work unless there's a trick to do it. So in this case, we have a door family and the frame material changes when we switch this frame thickness value. You can see now it is steel. And if I put a value of 90 millimeters, it becomes wood. So again, by default with Revit formulas, that doesn't work. I'm going to show you the workaround you can use to make it work. So just to uh, convey the point, you can see we have the frame material parameter. And if I try to set any formula, it says this parameter type cannot be defined by formulas. So it doesn't work. So the first step that you'll need to take is that the geometry to which you want to assign a formula needs to be part of a nested family. So in this case, we have a door family. The frame is a nested family, so a family within the family. I'm not going to show all the steps and everything that means and everything to make it work. I'm just going to focus on the trick to set uh, the material condition. So this is the frame family. And the step that you need to take to make it work is that you must pre-create all the types based on the material. So for example, I have a steel, birch, and aluminum uh, family type in this nested frame family. And you can see that the material is different for each, right? So make sure that this set up in the nested family. Then let's close this down and let's return to, this is the host family where we've nested this door frame, associated all the dimensions. Now let's go to the family type properties. So what we'll need to do is create a new parameter in the data type, we're gonna select family type. And here you'll need to select a category. So make sure to pick the same category as the nested family, the frame family. In this case, the frame is in the doors category. Uh, some people might put it in something different like generic models, for example. Uh, for now, I'll use doors. And you can group parameter under other. Okay, and now I'm going to call it the material name. So let's start with wood. And make sure to pick the right option. This call In this case, it is birch. This is fine. And now I can click here to duplicate the parameter. This one I'm going to call aluminum. And with the drop down selector, I'm going to pick aluminum as well. Duplicate it again. Call this one steel. Steel, I'm going to set it here. All right. And if you have five options of materials that are possible for this family, you need to create five different parameters. So now that this is done, I can click on OK. And the next step is to select the frame itself. And in the options bar, this says a label. I'm going to select add parameter and I will call this frame material. I think there's another frame material, just going to add a little symbol. In this case, it should be an instance based parameter because we're going to base it on the frame thickness value, which is also an instance parameter. All right, so this is good. And now we can see the frame material. I'm going to put it uh, the first on the list of parameters. So it's a bit easier. The way formula works, you cannot type in like the name of the type directly, but you can type in the name of the parameter. So for example, I can call this aluminum. Uh, there's the I, and you can see that the material written there is going to be uh, the one set for this one. That means if I was to switch, you can see that the frame material also switch. And if I was to type steel, it becomes steel. But of course, that's not the formula that we want. So I do have a formula ready right here and it's based on the frame thickness. So I'm just going to paste it over there. I'm going to assume that you have knowledge of how to use if statements. If not, check out the full Eric family's course for Revit. And so basically if the frame thickness is below 40 millimeters, we're going to have an aluminum material. If it's between 40 and 75, it's going to be steel. And if it's above 75, it's going to be wood. So let's uh, test it out. Here we have the frame thickness material. If I put it to 50, you can see it turns into steel. And if I put this at 90, it becomes a birch. All right, as you can see here. So let's load this family into the project and I'll play around with it. So let's select this, change the frame thickness to 90 millimeters, and that's it. So that's how you can set formulas to material parameters. If you've enjoyed this video, check out our new Revit course called Heroic Families, 
This course will teach you how to create strong, powerful, lean, and efficient families your colleagues will love using. The course focuses on high-level principles and advanced strategies, although it also contains content for family beginners. It includes an ebook PDF, video tutorials, case studies, the Mega Revit sample file, access to live masterclasses, and more. Check out the link in the video description to get all the details.